Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to integrate an API into your WordPress website in 2023. APIs or application programming interfaces allow different software systems to communicate and share data. By integrating the APIs into WordPress sites, you can enhance its functionality and offer dynamic features. So let's get started on the steps to seamlessly integrate APIs into your WordPress website. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end. So you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and choose an API. The first step, of course, is to identify the API that you want to integrate. This could be like a social media API, a payments uh, getaway API, or a weather API or any other API that aligns with your website's purposes. And after selecting, of course, an API, you will need to obtain the necessary credentials. And this usually involves like signing up for an account on the API provider website and generating API keys or token. Let's just use like as an example, ChatGPT as an example. So go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with and go to the URL section, simply type chat. GPT and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure to go and click on this open AI website introducing ChatGPT. And here, make sure to go and log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't, you'll have to go and create your account as an example. This is not just for ChatGPT on any API uh, software that you're going to use. So as you can see, I have API option here. So simply click on that. And as you can see from here, a you'll be able to see, as you can see, welcome to open AI platform. Uh, Start with the basics, and as you can see here, build an application, build ChatGPT plugin. So from here, you'll be able to get your API as an example. Click on API references here, and as you can see, authentication, API keys. And as you can see from here, you're, uh, you currently do not have any API keys. So create one using the button below to get started to click here. Create your API key, click on get, uh, create secret key, and you will have your API key. Once you obtain your API credentials, of course, for you, you will have to sign up for an account on the API provider website that you're going to use for your, website, or your WordPress website, of course. Then you will have to go and install and activate the plugin if applicable. Check if there is a plugin available for the chosen API integration. Many APIs have dedicated plugins that simplify the integration process. You can search for the plugin in the WordPress plugin directory and then install it, then activate it. As an example here, let me just go and open WordPress website and then of course log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't have an account, just go and create a new one. And of course from there, make sure to go to plugins and you'll have to go and add a new plugin for whatever API you're going to use. As an example, let's see here chat GPT and see if there's a plugin for that. So you can see add GPT-3 power chatbot to your WordPress admin panel. It's free and we have a lot of apps that we can go, of course, and check one by one or simply check uh, for whatever suits you depending on the features that is provided by the app. And of course, if they have a free plan or not, if they are paid or something like that. Once you get your uh, the app that you want, make sure to go and install and activate it. And of course, you will have to even go and integrate the API that you get from your uh, API provider, whatever it is. For me, it's ChatGPT from here. So as an example, you will have to go to your dashboard uh, of uh, like uh, WordPress and of course, make sure to go to plugins, click on add new and here simply go to search plugins and as an example here, I'm just going to look for ChatGPT and let's see if they have it. So as you can see, I engine ChatGPT chatbot content. So GPT for WordPress chatbots, content and image generator so as you can see, I'm not going to read all of that. So go and check whatever uh, like app you want. Then simply, as we said, install it. Once it's installed, you will have to go and activate that and you will have to enter the API key that you get from your, uh, your chat GPT. So as an example, once I activate it, I'll have the option to do so into my plugins example. So I'll find it here. I can click on the settings. And from here, of course, I'll be able to integrate the chat GPT into my WordPress website. I can even enable the some options you can see. So we have chatbot generators, playground assistance. We will able even to uh, to enable like just uh, audio to test if you want to or to text. Sorry, here the chatbots as you can see. We can try it out here. You can edit the theme, edit uh, the, uh, customize the settings however you want. And of course, from here, make sure to enter the API that you get, and you will be good to go. 
But as an example, if you're or if there's no dedicated plugin for the API provider that you choose, you can still integrate the API manually. You will need to use the PHP and WordPress functionals uh, to make the API requests and process the responses. You can do this by creating a custom plugin or adding code snipped to your theme functional uh, functions.php uh, file. And of course, use the API documentation to understand how the structure of requests and interrupts the responses. WordPress offers functionals like uh, WP uh, Remote Git and WP Remote Post to send requests, external API, uh, and receive responses. As you can see in ChatGPT, they show you how to do this example. So they give you an introduction and how to integrate like even the API if you want to. So as you can see, they're giving you all the codes that you may need. So you can go for an example, if you're using ChatGPT, go and check them out. Uh, for your API provider, make sure to go and do the same. Of course, make sure to even incorporate API data into your website. Because once you receive the API responses, you can extract the relevant data and incorporate into your website. And this could involve displaying dynamic content, creating custom widgets, or enhancing the user interactions. And of course, make sure to, before deploying like the integration to your live website, uh, thorough the tests and the developments or staging environment and check the errors uh, and expected behaviors and data accuracy, debug any issues that arise, and then you'll be able to even ensure that the API calls do not significantly slow down your website or even loading speed. You can optimize, of course, your code and consider using caching or mechanism to improve the performance. And make sure to keep security in mind. When integrating APIs, you can use the HTTPS for API requests, sanitize user input, and validate, uh, validate sorry, the API responses to prevent vulnerability. And finally, of course, make sure to document the integration process and the API uses for future reference. Uh, regularly check for updates from the API provider and keep your integration up to date so your customers will be happy and your website will be as fast as possible and that's gonna be it for this video so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully integrated an api into your wordpress website enhancing its functionality and providing dynamic features to your visitors apis of course offers endless possibilities for customization and interactions so making your website more engaging and valuable, uh, whether you're displaying real-time data integration, external services, or creating interactive elements, API integration can take your WordPress site into the next level. So stay tuned for more tutorials and insights as we continue to explore uh, the ever evolving world of web development so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one of course if you have any issues you can always leave them down below in the comment section or go and contact the wordpress website or the api provider website supports they may help you so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video